What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy MC Ed is coming back with a brand new video. Now, check this out. You guys may know me from all the music and the storm chasing, but I also like to do a lot of travel videos. I like to explore places. And today, we are exploring creepy places and by popular demand on Instagram. And by the way, follow me on Instagram. Link to my Instagram account is on the description below. And as I was saying, so check this out. So right now, by popular demand, you guys been requesting me to go back to Murphy Ranch. And that's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. So I am heading back to Murphy Ranch. There's a lot more daylight compared to the first time when I was around. And if you guys missed that video, this is what happened the first time around I went to Murphy Ranch. Dude, someone left a backpack out here. What the fuck happened here, dude? Dude. Okay, fuck that shit. That's right, guys. So I dipped out the moment I saw everything that was around that backpack in the middle of the trail. And aside from that, I felt like somebody was watching me. I felt like there was negative vibes around me, negative presence, like something was watching me. And it was already dark, way past after sunset. So this time around, as you guys can see, a lot more daylight. So we're gonna go explore a lot more today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into the content. So as you guys can see, I'm taking an easy run to Murphy Ranch. The sun is still out, plenty of daylight, but the sun will go down soon. So we will be here after the sun goes down, but nothing compared to last time. And just running along Graffiti Highway. This was a graffiti that I was trying to find last time that I couldn't find. It was too dark, but today I found it. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. Here comes the fun part. Still on Graffiti Highway. And I have noticed a substantial amount of traffic out here in this trail today. 90% of the people are heading back. So these stairs that you guys see right here, we're gonna come back to these stairs a little later in the video, but I just want to show you guys how much inclined to climb from these stairs. So that's a good 200 to 500 feet. Going down some stairs to this abandoned water tank out here. And there are some people in here today. So nothing too freaky right now, but what a nice view out here, I'm not gonna lie. And this is the water tank out here. Got some people out here. And this is the water tank from last time's video. Hey, hey, how you doing? And everybody out here filming <laughs> this water tank. Yes, What's up, man? How you doing? You're good yourself. Doing good. Puppy. <laughs> you guys take care. Yeah, you too, dude. So out here, excuse me. So there's people out here getting some pictures of this. And right now the vibe, there's nothing negative, but that's changing. And right now, man, you can see a lot of spray cans out here. So people come in here and tag and, well, see some energy drinks here too. But we're going to go through these stairs. So we're going to take a different route to Murphy Ranch today. Little different route today. Heading down through, look at the sidewalk. And then it converts into a trail. Main road goes through there. And we got some railings out here too on the side. So we're heading down. Looks like an emergency phone or something, or that used to be something. Maybe to call help as we keep heading down on this trail, or let's say stairs. Look at all these dead trees, man. That's just awesome. And someone left a mask over here. So rest in peace to that poor mask. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but yeah. So we keep heading down these stairs. I also wanna show you guys that one fall going down, you're gonna get seriously hurt. And God forbids that you could even die from one of these falls because you will fall at least 10 to 20 feet. So be really careful when you come down here. Man, so I just came down from these stairs behind me and damn, there's just a lot of incline out here. And now we're back on the road, not that far from Murphy Ranch. And just to tell you guys that I only came by myself. So nobody around me, as you guys can see, it's just me, myself, and I. Just like that one song from GD, uh, excuse me, G-E-C. And Baby Rexa too, so don't forget her. 
before I go any further, I want to show you guys really quick how much incline these stairs have. So last time we didn't get the chance to explore this side of Murphy Ranch because we just dipped out of there the moment, the moment I saw that sketchy backpack with all the stuff the alcohol bottle and the pills like it was just really sketchy but now we're exploring this side and you know some rocks in the middle of the road yeah that's very nice i'm pretty sure my car is gonna get a good flat or maybe even dent my bumper but who knows good thing the fire department put out this fire that could have taken off easily as it was burning uphill and just to show you guys that a fire did burn over here so good thing they put it out there's two roads i'm going to take the one on the left a log and a tree that is tagged up somebody could easily climb this tree so if you like climbing trees this is a perfect tree for you Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Murphy Ranch. This is the powerhouse. And this looks pretty creepy. Look at that creepy looking cat. And wow, I'm just looking at all these graffiti artwork that people come over here and do. But as you guys see right now, there's nobody here. There's another flight of stairs near the powerhouse. And this is probably like the smallest flight of stairs. Let's go up these stairs. So you guys remember these flight of stairs that take you back to the main road and also these ruins over here. And we're gonna quickly walk through these ruins and there's people down there. So just to let you guys know that I'm not alone today and walking through these ruins, used to be a building over here and I've been seeing quite a few bottles of alcohol and spray cans and just walking around here looking at everything looks pretty cool but the road that i was talking about earlier where it splits this is the one that goes to the right so just to let you guys know the main road is down there now you guys remember this sewer pipe and i think someone tried to come in and cover it up and oh that looks gross hell no we gotta cover this thing up yo well Looks like an old parking lot that it was just left abandoned. And you can see people come in here. Looks like they come in here to burn their spray cans, their drinks. I mean, I guess people come here to burn alcohol and paint. So what's the purpose of that? There's an animal down there. Just taking a look around here. So to tell you guys the truth, this is the spot where I saw this backpack. It was around here. And the backpack is not here anymore. And there's just a little section left to explore. This is something that we did not get in my last video. And there's people down there. So good news is that I'm not alone today. So unlike last time, I felt like somebody was watching me. But this is a chimney that we left abandoned because of a house that used to be here back in the day. This trail is going to become a rock climbing contest. So I'm going to get a little dirty right now. So this trail becomes extremely treacherous. But we're going to get through to go to the other side of Murphy Ranch. This is exactly what I was talking about. We're going to have to get our hands a little dirty to get through. Trees have fallen down because of the storms that took place earlier this year. There's just more sections like these that I haven't explored yet and I'm determined to explore them in this video. So it looks like a concrete wall. People come in here and tag. It looks like a riverbed. And over here, we have a very, very small flight of stairs. Or maybe these are stairs that used to be here that got washed away by the storms with time. As we head down this trail, this trail is just very narrow. At times it's very challenging to climb and get around. We got one tree branch blocking the way and we may have a second one further down. Rocks that are coming down and they're tagged as well. And little rock climbing contest. Gotta slow it down, can't run here. 
uh, you guys remember this little building from my last video. I was over here and you could see everything just been thrown down. This used to be like another building where people come in and set up shop and criminal activity been reported down here. And I can't really confirm it, but weird stuff have happened here, especially in the overnight hours. And it's not a place that I would be after sunset. But you can see a lot of tagging down here as I go around and just exploring here. Boom, looking at this building, this is what's left. So they threw this building down back in 2017 or 2016, around that time. And I thought I heard something run, probably an animal. So we're gonna keep walking around here. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled for snakes because it's snakes sneezing out here. And look at this tree. That thing looks hella creepy. And as I walk through, keeping my eyes peeled as I film. And I really don't like this section right here. And hearing some lizards or small animals walk around, but now I'm back in the main trail. So that's all I wanted to show you guys right here. That's the first time I ever seen a rabbit up close and personal. That thing looks so cute. Oh, he got scared. All right, we keep going. You guys remember this tree from my last video where I got under it and guess what? I'm gonna get under it again because I won one to nothing. Big U-turn right here on this road and we're gonna start running this road up to get to the front gate where it used to be. Sun is officially down here at Murphy Ranch and it's getting dark really, really fast. All right guys, so I'll repeat one more time. The sun is down and I am heading back to Murphy Ranch to explore. Check out the view, looks pretty nice. As we go down these stairs, the sun is officially down and we are heading back to Murphy Ranch. So I'm trying to go down as quick as possible because I don't want to be here when it's too dark either. But I really want to explore one more section of this place and little flat of stairs down there that takes you to nowhere and it's a dead end. So as we keep going down, it's getting darker every minute and these stairs are really, really dangerous. That's why you don't see me looking at the camera that much because I'm looking down which way I'm going. So be really careful if you guys choose to come out here at any time of the day. And seriously guys, coming here during the nighttime, not a very good idea, but I'm doing this for the video and for you guys that been requesting this video. So here we go, let's get it. All right guys, here we go. It's a lot darker down here because of the trees. And I could see the ending of these stairs. So very, very steep incline. You guys saw this in, earlier in the video as we head back down. Now you guys see I'm running a lot faster and that's because I want to get out of here a lot faster. So there's a couple more spots that I really want to get in video before I leave. So let's get it. That looks pretty ominous around this time. I'm not going any further down because I already explored that area, but this is one of the spots that I wanted to get. Here's a better view of that water tank. And you can see the dent on the right side. I wonder how you could get access to that, but the way there looks very treacherous. All right, guys, so we're gonna go up these stairs. It is shorter and it is easier. So we're gonna end up at the other water tank that we were at. So these stairs are a lot easier. So I'm gonna run these guys up and I'm gonna hit record once I get back to the tank. Good news is that there's people at this water tank. Bad news is I don't know what kind of people they are. And I smell like, I smell spray can paint. So I think they're tagging up here. All right, so there's people out here uh, tagging, getting their graffiti artwork out here. So they were really cool people. And you could, hear, you could hear them working over there too. So now you guys can see how dark it is out here. And we're officially done with this vlog video.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am back at the main staircase to Murphy Ranch and I took a lap around Murphy Ranch. Well, didn't finish the lap because I didn't go all the way down. But what I gotta tell you guys from this experience, the second time around that I recorded, nothing crazy happened. Nothing compared to the first time. Didn't see a backpack with alcohol and pills laying in the middle of the trail. And that was just freaky. But compared to the first time that I got on video, nothing extreme happened i thought i heard footsteps right next to me but it turned out that it was just me and something that i thought was paranormal turned out to be people talking so that was quickly debunked and yeah so i do feel that somebody is watching me i do feel a negative presence but overall nothing crazy happened not that freaked out and you guys could see I'm walking casually back to the car, so. And that is it for this vlog video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Don't forget to turn on that post notification so you guys won't miss any video that I upload, including my storm chasing, my music, and soon I'm gonna be uploading workout videos and other travel videos like this one. And that is it for this video, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.